This video is going to show how to analyze power and optimize design performance to work with a reduction in supply voltage. Open the provided design in ORCAD PSPICE Designer, select PSPICE New Simulation Profile from the menu, name the simulation Power Amp and click Create. The Simulation Settings window opens. Set the Run To time to 5 milliseconds and the maximum step size to 1 microsecond. Click OK to create the simulation profile. Select the Voltage Level Marker icon from the toolbar to place a probe. Click to place the probe on the output net. Right-click and select End Mode when finished. Select PSPICE Run from the menu to start the simulation. View the results. As expected, an amplified sine wave with a peak voltage of 4 volts is shown. Back in the schematic, double-click the value of V1 to change it. Enter a value of 6 volts and click OK. Double-click the value of V2. Enter 6 volts and click OK. Select the Voltage Level Marker icon from the toolbar to place a probe. Place the probe at the bases of Q1 and Q2, then right-click and select End Mode. Select PSPICE Run from the menu. View the simulation results. The base voltage is clipped when the op-amp output reaches its upper limit, which clips the amplifier output as well. To fix this, we need to calculate the minimum operating voltage of the amplifier circuit. Select PSPICE New Simulation Profile from the menu. Name the simulation profile Power Sweep and click Create. In the Simulation Settings window, select DC Sweep from the Analysis Type drop-down. Under Sweep Variable, select Voltage Source and enter V2. Set the Sweep Type to Linear. Enter 6 for the Start value, 9 for the End value, and 0.1 for the increment. Click OK. A DC component needs to be added to the input of the amplifier for this calculation. Select the wire connecting V3 to ground and press delete on the keyboard. Click and drag the ground to move it further down as needed. Select V1 and press Ctrl C on the keyboard. Press Ctrl V and click to place the source between V3 and ground. Double click the value of the newly placed source and set it to 2 volts. Click OK. Select Place Wire from the menu, the Wire button from the toolbar, or press W on the keyboard. Click to connect the positive of source V4 to the lower terminal of V3. Press Escape on the keyboard when finished. Select the Voltage Level Marker icon from the toolbar. Click to place the probe on the output net, then right-click and select End Mode. Select PSPICE Run from the menu. View the sweep results. The output holds at a steady 4 volts when the supply voltage is approximately 7.2 volts or higher. Back in the schematic, select source V4 and press delete on the keyboard. Select the endpoint of the wire connected to ground and click and drag to reconnect V3 to ground. Double click the value of V1. Enter 7.2 volts and click OK. Double click the value of V2. Enter 7.2 volts and click OK. Select Schematic 1 Power Amp from the Simulation Selector drop-down. Select PSPICE Run from the menu. View the simulation results. The clipping has been resolved and the circuit is performing as intended. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.ema-eda.com, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.